In today's video, I got some advice for those out there who are starting a new. There we go. In today's video, I got some advice for those out there who are starting a new job or a new position or want to grow their current positioning in their current location. So I'm the Poetic. Thank you for joining me today. This is my 90 day fast to $5,000 where I fast and abstain from vices and food and certain things that we're better off if I stayed away from over the next 90 days. Alright, so in a previous video, I said in a previous video, I basically made the comment that I was looking to maximize my income and then in order to maximize my income, the only where place I could go was into a new position, so I resigned from my previous position at my previous job, and now I'm in a brand new position, and today was my first day. So in the future, I'm going to do a, probably get into more details about uh, interviewing and stuff like that, but today I just want to give a few tips and pointers about what I did today, and some thoughts that I had while they were still fresh on my mind. So first and foremost, this is the first time I've ever worked for a small company. I'm talking about like it's a startup. That's where I got first time I ever worked for a startup. And you know, it's scary because you have no idea where a startup's going to go. In fact, I think I read somewhere that one tenth of businesses succeed your first five years and one tenth succeed five to ten so one tenth of one tenth which is basically one out of 100 businesses succeed within the first 10 years and I need to say like this is a highly risky bet that I'm playing you know what I'm talking about but within that there's I, I look at this as a blessing and this won't apply to all of us so First, I want to talk to all of us. Then I'll talk to our more to the more like specialized people or more startup small business people. All right. So, if you're in just a basic corporation or a big company, like as I'm sure you are well aware, you will not ever see the CEO, the COO, the CFO, whatever any one who has three digits in front of their name or after their name, you will never see. You and I know that. So the best thing you can do in that position is, and this is best to do when you're first hired, and of course it's never too late, but please, the best time to do is when you're first hired, because it's all about first impressions. And once you're at it for a while, like, you know, not just only as, as big of an effect as when you're first hired. Nevertheless, all right. So first piece of advice I have for you, those of you who are looking to further your career, and not even necessarily leave your position in to maximize your income, but just further your career. Like, it's common, it's really probably common sense, but I just felt the need to share it that the, I feel like one of the best things you can do is network with higher management, senior management. Get on a first name basis. You know their family's dog's name and their daughter's name, you know, the school that they go to. Like, get on a first name open bases with your senior management and the second thing even this is probably even the first one no matter who you're with whether they're a peon or senior management or just whatever names 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 i get so tired and so sick of hearing people talk about they suck at names listen you suck at names i suck at names he sucks at names she sucks at names like everybody sucks at names but that is just an old freaking call to an excuse for mental slothfulness. So please, please, please. First thing you should do to further your career is remember names. That's, if you know nothing else, remember the names of the people you talk to. Start there and then get into the expertise and specialize in, in areas. But start with remembering names of your coworkers, of senior management, of upper management, of anybody that you meet, even the guy who cleans the bathrooms know names and refer to people as names all right 
first thing you should do, second thing you should do now, sorry about that, in big corporations, or small corporations, but I'm talking to all the people in big corporations now, since you won't know the COO is anybody with three digits in front of their name or after their name, wherever they put that nonsense, get comfortable and get on first name, comfortable bases where you know your senior management's names, their wives' names, their daughters' names, and you refer to their family by their names, their dogs' names, and you know interests, like you guys can have a conversation, and out of nowhere you can start a conversation about one of their interests, so that's the second thing you should do, all right? So those are the first two things I encourage anyone who's watching this video to do to help further your career. Remember names, get on a first name basis, and deeper relationship with everybody specifically though senior management and upper management all right now for one more bonus one for people who are starting at startups okay so this is actually a very exciting experience for me because I've never once worked for a startup so this is a learning process for me and uh, you know my aim is to mesh with the startup so well that I can sit down with the CEO and I can have a coffee and just talk about whatever and that's my goal about that's my goal in this company is to build a relationship with everybody in the business and don't be afraid to talk to senior management and know all your coworkers and that is my goal but the first thing that I am recommending anybody do when you're starting at a position and specifically in a small business, normally in small businesses, time is not as speed and as fast. Like take time to develop relationships, but make sure everybody knows you and you know everybody. And as much as you can, show up at the office, which leads into... The last thing I wanted to say was that in another video I talked about working from home and I do have an opportunity to work from home in this position, but I don't want to do that. I want to be able to pour with every single person, co-worker, CEO, COO, everybody. I want to build a relationship with everybody in that company. And what differentiates this from corporations is with corporations, you probably have 500 to 1,000 employees that work to put stuff together or even 100 to 500 like with those aim more for senior management alliances and upper management alliances co-workers by me but are not as important if you want to further your career as knowing and being able to build a relationship with senior manager but in small businesses and any other place where you just started up like learn everybody and make sure everybody knows you and that is what my goal is going from here on out and I'm sorry I didn't make a video yesterday I'm doing testing and just a bunch of nonsense that I gotta do for everything to go in so that's why I didn't post the video yesterday but here I am and that is what I wanted to make this video about that I am going into a not only a new position a new plot a new plane in my life but I am literally working at a startup and I've never once worked at a startup so I'm really excited I hope you're really excited to work with me and to follow me and to you know get an understanding of what it's like to work at a startup because this is the riskiest place you can be next to being on your own so thank you I'm the poetic this is my 90 day fast 5k god bless